Hello, Creative Vision here, and this is a tutorial on um, how to make a cool looking thing like this, or something like this, something pretty cool looking, um, and also I have reached 152 subscribers, and since I had the video thing, one second, this thing that you could be featured on my channel thing. I will be putting up a video soon of the winner. So, first thing you need to do is open Cinema 4D. I would change the property settings. Um, actually, no. I'll keep it like. I'll make it. 640 by 360. Um,. Okay, so the first thing I did for this one, I think this one looks much cooler, so I'll do this one. Um, so you click and you hold and you click the platonic, I don't know how you pronounce it, and so it looks like this right now. Close. Um, I think I got 5% better. Yep, I got 5% better in my phone. Okay, so, um, once you do that, you have to click the Make Object Editable. Click on this button. Click and hold until you get this, and uncheck the, the box where it says Only Select Visible Elements. Drag the, the rectangle thingy across the whole thing, and it will select the whole object. Then right-click and choose Matrix Extrude. And then hold a bit until wait until you get something that you like, and that looks nice. And then you click and you hold again, and you do that until it extends a lot. And you can do that until you get a lot of those things. I think that looks quite nice. Actually, let's add some more. And you can change, like, the rotation and everything. That was probably too much. Nah, I like it the way it was. Okay. So, that looks quite nice. Um. Um, so, I would make a new texture. I mean, new material. And choose the texture. And click yes. It doesn't matter whether you click yes or no. But I click yes. Just go to Google and type in metal texture and find some cool things in the images and save it I used this one but you can use some cool other cool ones um and I would uh, make it a bit brownish looking and change the mixed drinks to make it a bit brownish um just a bit um and reflection I would change it to maybe like 20 and I'll take the material and move it there. When you preview it, that's how the thing looks. And as you can see, that doesn't look so cool right now. And that's because the there are no effects applied to it. So what I did, I cl click and hold this and use this explosion. And I move the explosion in there. And I change the strengths to one or two. I would use one. And as you can see, it makes it like cool. I guess. So yeah, then I also chose this explosion.
but not so much because and change the gravity was gravity zero because I don't want it to explode all that much this would be good enough add it even more a bit reflection Let's see how this will look like. So as you can see that looks quite nice. Um and what I would like to do um is add a focus like so you go into camera cameras camera scene camera camera and then click on this button. Um, yeah, go to this mode, and what you want to stay in focus is this middle thing, so if you want the middle to be focused, you have to click here, go to depth, check the both checkboxes to have front blur and real blur, rear blur, and move them closer a bit, and then go to settings, effect, depth of field, and check the use gradients. So now you're gonna have a cool blur after this finishes rendering out. Ah, uh, too much front blur. Let's get rid of some. That should be better. So yeah, that looks nice, and I would also add an effect of ambient occlusion. It'll make the rendering a bit longer, but it's worth it, because it makes it look cooler. Um, another thing um, that I would suggest you do, you go to edit your camera for now. Um, so then you don't mess up with your normal camera. And you, I would add a light. And once you add a light, uh, go into shadow and click shadow map soft. I would uncheck this for now. Um, and it would make it look really, really cool. So as you can see, this looks pretty professional. Even though it's not that hard to do. But it looks really nice. So here you go, and to export it out, you would go to save. Um, you, I would use a JPEG. Um, and to save it, I'll save it as a cool, cool wallpaper too. And then make the quality a bit bigger, just 480, just to actually no 360. I'll keep 360, just to show you how it will look. After you export out, click on this button and wait for it to do its job. So yeah, that's how it works. Um so please subscribe, comment, rate, like, and thank you. Uh goodbye.